What will win in a drag race between the new Tesla Cybertruck and a Hummer EV? Well, we're going to find out because I'm going to drag race them over the standing quarter mile in a very special drag strip, which is actually at Tesla's Gigafactory in Austin. Now, let me tell you about this new Tesla Cybertruck. So there are three versions. There's a rear drive version with a single motor. There's a dual motor version, which has four wheel drive. And then there's this one, which is known as the Cyber Beast. It has three motors, one on the front and two on the rear. The result is a combined 845 horsepower and 930 newton meters of torque. Now, this is quite a heavy truck because you've got a big battery of about 123 kilowatt hours. This thing weighs in at 3,080 kilos. In terms of pricing, $96,000 before taxes. Now the entry level Cybertruck starts from around $50,000. However, we need to find out about its rival, the Hummer EV. Hello racing driver Sam, you appear to have come to America with us. We are definitely in America, aren't we? Well, for sure, we can't get either of these cars in Europe. And I'm not sure whether this Tesla is ever going to be sold in Europe because of pedestrian protection regulations in the EU are a little bit stricter than in the US. As I look at you there, this screams of aliens, you know, the sequel, that land vehicle that they used. You look very cool. You are more Ripley than the uh, Marines, but you still look cool. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you're more ripped than the Marines. No, no, just Ripley. <laughs> okay, right. Thank you very much, Sam. Yeah, your truck, you know, it's a Hummer. It looks cool. It's got presence. I mean, but this is just on another level. Some people hate it. Some people love it. I'm in the love it camp. I really do like the look of it, but I like unusual vehicles. I would really like one of these. In fact, I'm going to try and buy one. I've got an order in. We'll see if I can buy one and ship it back to the UK. But enough about this side truck tell me about your hummer ev so you just said it is the hummer ev so this is the same as you this is a tri-motor which is super cool two on the rear axle one on the front with some special bits and pieces 1014 horsepower which is a lot but uh, i think that's kind of in the ballpark with you 1485 newton meters of torque all-wheel drive but this weighs 4100 kilos <laughs> Excess is the word of the day, I think. And the starting price is $109,000, which is about £86,000. It's really interesting. Let's put the stats up of these vehicles side by side so you can actually look at them. Now, this is the part of the video where we did the Kashmir Karma sound check. I'm sure there's a feature in here where I can make some noises from the car. Let's have a look. Toy box. Here we go. Boom box. Get in there. Horn sound. Replace horn sound. Replace horn. Stop current made a megaphone. Hello? Hello? Hey! Hey! Sam, can you hear me talking from the car? Whoa! Can you hear that? Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Hello! Is that louder? Is that a dog barking? Okay, so I'm going to do the customary car wire sound check now, I've figured out how to make this work. <laughs> That was more rolling coal than um, EV. Right, you've got to do your sound check. Does your car do kind of weird, funny sound stuff? Yeah, I can, but keep talking like that. That's going to make it much easier for me. Go on, do your noise. Go on what? You've got to do your sound, do a sound. Brum, 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 brum. Do. All right, if I do something that you definitely can't do, I want 10 points. Okay, fine, you can have 10 points, but let's see what you got. I, my friend, am crab walking. Wow, oh wow, that looks cool. <laughs> I like that. Wait, no, I can do something that you can't do. Um, we need someone from Tesla. Can I get someone from Tesla over here, please? Formal protest, I don't have an engineer that I can call over. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, but you've done research on your truck. We haven't done this. I just need help from someone from Tesla. But I have 10 points. I'll tell you what, you can have 10 points, but I can disconnect my steering wheel from my wheels. If I can do that, I want 20 points. See, watch my wheels move, yeah? Can you see my wheels moving? Yeah. Watch this. Do the thing with the wheel where it doesn't move. I'm going to turn my steering wheel. Are my wheels moving? So you've broken it? No! A real world application for that. I just showed you how I can park this really in a tight place and you're showing me that the steering rack's disconnected. It shows that this car's steering wheel isn't connected to the wheels, which means that actually you can go from lock to lock just that far and the car figures out exactly how much lock to provide on your steering. So when you're like going around tight turns, you're not constantly going like out on the steering wheel. It does it all for you. Making the 
steering wheel not do anything isn't proving the point. That's 20 points. 20 points? Where did 20 points come from? I just decided. Let's go on with the race. I just need to figure out how to turn this car back on. Here we go. Watch this. Tap a key card. Hit the brake. There we go. We're on. He was better off the line that time. No, oh my God. It seems to top out at like 113.